I have a cut in the bottom of my hole. I also have a big chunk missing where uh, so the previous owner hit a log. It's not leaking, but I'm going to fix it while I'm here. So what you get, I got uh, white because the whole of my boat is white and not gray. This one's kind of a gray, but that one's white. So I wanted white. What you get inside the box, you get the main part of it here. And then you get the, this is the catalyst, and you get the um, hardener as well. And the instructions on how much hardener to put is right here on the bottle, but I'm most likely going to mix all of it together at once. And you also have instructions in here. And I haven't seen what to clean the fiberglass area with, but I'm assuming you would use acetone. It's a book. The gray one is recommended for uh, machine and metal and all that, but the white's recommended for the the uh, the hole. Uh, I'm gonna read this real quickly and I'll come right back. This whole thing is not very big. Uh, three and a half inches by two and a quarter inches. Step one is to use some acetone and a rag before sanding. I'm gonna spill acetone all over the place because that's just awesome, right? Okay. It is a pretty deep, pretty deep repair. Okay. Take um, 80 grit, 100 grit, 120 grit sandpaper. I'm going to use this. Then I'm going to take it off and get inside of it a little bit better. Okay, wipe it off. Use more acetone. Don't lay right underneath it. Luckily, I'm barely smart enough not to do that. And uh, I actually want to kind of get the rest of this shitty ass uh, Fondo stuff off. So I feel good about the inside of that. So it's just the outside just to get this crap off. Okay, obviously, do it again. They always say the biggest key to everything is the prep work. And honestly, the gel coat doesn't really look that dull after what I just did, which is good. So, now that we did that, we're good to go. It's time to mix up our stuff. So let's go so as you already know you have the catalyst and you have the hardener you might want some of these uh, Bondo uh, spreaders oh yeah before I forget you gonna you want might want some water because uh, it'll ease in the um, application process also a plastic disposable butter knife would also ease in the mixing process so, this is already kind of a paste. I thought it was a okay. I thought it was a powder, but this is the catalyst. Try not to be as messy with it as I am. 
There's that part of it. And the hardener. And the direction says that there's a 10% uh, mixing rate. So uh, if you lose within 10% of your solution, so say you spill a few drops of your hardener or you couldn't get all the catalyst out, it's not that big of a deal. This doesn't look like it makes very much. Basically, what you get in the can is what you get. So it seems like it's mixed as well as it's going to get. Let's go ahead and take this stuff. Shit! Okay. Hurry up and get this shit up here. <clears throat> you can add extra layers later if you need to. I'm going to put it on extra thick because. I keep seeing through it. I'll just deal with the sanding process later. Okay. <laughs> this ain't fun. <laughs> Got it all over my arm. Gonna wash it off with some acid now. I want to get as much of this crap off as I can before it dries. It's already starting to set. Yeah, wear gloves. <laughs> Dylan is not the smartest person on this planet. It takes about one to two hours to set um, until it's completely hard. And it takes uh, 12 to 48 hours to cure. Taking a bath in acetone today. Okay, back here again. This is the area I was trying to fix before. And I did exactly what I said not to do. I put too much on and had to sand it off and the reason it looks so bad is because this is actually the marine text here and then this is the fiberglass and this is the gel coat to get down to where I was because I don't remember if I showed what it looked like. I had to uh, sand this stuff it's hard to steal so it doesn't sand well so I took a uh, angle grinder that had a flap disc on it and I sanded it and that's what these little nicks are from it's from uh, the angle grinder um, but I got it down and so I got it's mostly smooth now um, it does have a little bit of a concave here but I'm gonna mix a really small amount small of amount as I can I already wiped it down with acetone so sanded it now I wiped it down with acetone so I'm gonna mix my uh, Marine Tex, and hopefully I can do it right this time. Um, structurally, this should be okay, um, but I don't like the bare fiberglass being here, so I'm going to uh, fill it in, hopefully make it smooth so it looks better. Um, I got those that area. I'm going to try to fill in the little nicks too, and then um, got this little area, which I'm going to try to do, but it's already smooth, so I don't really know. Honestly, paint might be better for that. And then there's a couple other spots. There's a scrape up here. <coughs> Freaking acetone rag. Oh my god. Okay, so there's a little scrape up there that I'm going to fix, but not at this time. And then I also have got here's the marine text. This is the catalyst, and this is the hardener. So in small batches, you mix one part hardener to far, five parts of catalyst and I do have another spot over here I need to fix that's uh, where the wheel well was banging into it and it's actually even worse down there so that's pretty bad I need to fix that too but let's mix the catalyst up the marine techs up okay I would definitely wear 
gloves. I have uh, latex gloves, specifically surgeon gloves, so they can go up the arm. And uh, I just didn't want any mess, so go ahead and put them on there. Don't wear clothes that you care about. All right, so like I said, it's uh, five parts of the catalyst to one part hardener. So I have an eighth of a teaspoon here. I don't know how well it's gonna work. It's super thick. It wasn't this thick before. So yeah, I'm not gonna get it out of there now. All right, so I got a toothpick. This is a pain. They want, for the smaller amount, they expect you to just mix it all together to use the whole thing all of the catalyst and all of the hardener at once. I um, thought this stuff was for small repairs, but actually this stuff is more for a strength. So if you actually had a hole in your boat, you could use this stuff. Um, and you could even use this with fiberglass mats. So if you didn't have fiberglass resin and you wanted this, it supposedly is stronger than the regular resin. Um, if you wanted, I don't know what it's called, but there's something else you can use just for gel coat. See, for what I'm using it for right now, there is better stuff for this application. But so this is two of these spoonfuls. I don't think it has to be too exact. By the way, this measuring spoon is gone. It's not going to be usable ever again. So that's two. Three. Ooh. This bottle is glass and I just dropped it and it somehow did not break. Put that there. Okay. This makes four. If you have big repairs or moderately sized repairs that require strength, this stuff will work. If you have small repairs that is just a gel coat fill, then avoid this shit. All right, let me find, before I mix this stuff up, let me see if I can find my squeegee that I used so I can level this out on the boat. Okay, so I have my scraper. Um, so let's go ahead and put that on there. Put the lid back on the lid on this other thing. I don't think it's supposed to be this consistency. Because it wasn't this consistency the first time. So if it was, it wouldn't have been that bad. What are you meowing for? Way smaller batch than before. It is getting more liquidy though. A little bit. A little bit better. Well, let's go under the boat. I'll just, just have to hold the camera, I think. So, I didn't make very much up. And I did that on purpose, because I'd rather I'd rather add more layers than have to sand it off again. It's pretty thick stuff this time. It wasn't like this before. I could have probably. It was this thick the first time, yeah. it wouldn't have been oozing out. Okay. I didn't have enough to do the little gouges up there and down there, and that one kind of got not really anything. But let me see if I can scrape. I mean, I can scrape a little bit more off this. I'll go for the gouges that are. That stuff on it. 
And I'm going to, oops. I'm gonna wait about 10 minutes. I'm gonna come over here and start sanding this stuff down because it's not smooth. But if I sand it down when it, right when it's almost done drying, it won't be that bad. So yeah, that's not too bad. It's, if you look at it from up here, it's not like super thick. Actually, it does have its spots. not too bad um, yeah, that's actually better than before and then uh, sand it down just a little bit maybe so at least around the edges because like right, right there sand that off a little bit uh, I'll mix up another batch and do those later but that's not too bad definitely small uh, layers and uh, you see that that didn't take that much to fill uh, the majority of it was already filled in though because the big gouge was actually filled in and I actually ended up leveling it out by taking some around it off um, so that's not too bad and I'll let this dry for a little bit and I'll sand it down 